In this video, I'm going to show you how a diminished ladder can help you connect ideas while playing in minor keys. Hi, my name is Jason Klobnik, and I'm a jazz trumpeter from Denver, Colorado that helps musicians find a better way to improvise. If you're looking for a quick jazz improv tip that will help your soloing, then you've come to the right place. This concept might be new to some of you, so if you would like to know a little more, I would invite you to check out some of the links below in the description and check out my members area. Okay, so you might be wondering, what exactly is a diminished ladder? And why is this tool worth creating a video on? Well, this ladder is a sequence of four notes that form a fully diminished seventh chord. And because we're talking about a fully diminished seventh, that means it is perfectly symmetrical, which means there are only three of them in music. You have the ones that's built off of the B, D, F, and A flat, the C, E flat, G flat, A, and the C sharp, E, G, B flat. And of course, all of the other permutations when you look at each notes and harmonics. Each interval, is a minor third away from each other, which is what makes them perfectly symmetrical. This creates a unique and versatile musical ladder. This ladder has a distinctive sound that can be used to add tension, intrigue, and a touch of familiarity of what the jazz greats would use when playing over minor keys. I like to use the term ladder because they are simply steps to get you from one target choice to another when using a diminished arpeggio. So diminished arpeggio, diminished ladder, I just like the term ladder better. And again, because they are symmetrical, it doesn't matter what note you start on. It's all about where you are going, which is the target you are aiming at. How can you quickly find which ladder to use in a minor key? It's actually really simple. Whatever the minor key is, go down a half step and create a diminished arpeggio. So in C minor, I can go down a half step and start on B natural. That gives me the diminished arpeggio of B, D, F, and A flat. So if I want to target the fifth of C minor, which is a G, I can use the diminished arpeggios of B, D, F, and A flat and target that G at the end of the ladder. It sounds like this. Oh, and a uh, reminder before I forget that the notation you see here is in concert key. So all of my transposing friends like B flat and E flat instruments will need to transpose as needed. So it's gonna sound like this. And because it's symmetrical, we don't have to just start on the B. We can start on any note in the ladder and resolve to our next closest target. Here it is starting on the A flat, but targeting the E flat. Starting on the F, but targeting the C. And finally, starting on the D, also targeting the C. These all sound really familiar, right? This is because the diminished ladder implies a 5-7 flat 9 chord. If you're in the key of C minor, what is the 5-7 chord? That's right, it would be a G7 chord. The diminished ladder of B, D, F, and A flat implies a 5-7 flat 9 chord because those notes represent the 3rd, 5th, flat 7, and flat 9th of that 5-7 chord. This chord wants to resolve, creating a natural pull towards the tonic chord of C minor. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. You don't have to wait for the 5-7 flat 9 chord to appear in the chord progression to play this concept. You can use it right before just about any minor chord to get that implied sound. We are used to hearing that tension and release, so by implying it, in a sense, our ears pre-fill the harmonic information without needing to be played by the rest of the rhythm section. Here's an example I used from a recent recording from one of my bands.
course, here's an example over a one chord vamp in a swing style. Notice how the diminished ladder helps connect some of the other ideas I'm using, which is simply just using the major pentatonic scale over the minor chord. This is what I call the use of the diminished ladder. Want to use something even cooler and has even more expanded use? Check out my members area in the description below the video where we use the half diminished ladder over major keys and how you can use them to imply even more substitute chords. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it has added value or benefit to your playing in some way. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell that's right next to it that lets you know when another video comes out. If you know any other musician that might find this beneficial, please feel free to share it with them too. Until then, my name is Jason Klobnik, and I'll see you on the next one.